Welcome back to Edu Skills. Happy morning. And our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work. Please share the video to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum number of OED aspirants who are struggling to crack OED, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OED. And today, in Yebert's I weave into subtests. How does it work and what are the skills required? I'll tell you what are the skills being assessed and what are they looking for? Then what are the skills required in each subtest? Under the subtest in each part, what are the skills being assessed? Edu skills, learning made easy. You know, OET has four subtests, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Now listening. Listening, we have three parts, part A, part B, and we have 42 questions. Tasks are not completion and, and multiple choice questions. Now part A, 12 plus 12, 24 questions. You will have two audios, two extracts, uh, including 12 each questions. So you have 24 questions, 15 minutes, you know. Part B, six questions. And part C, 12 questions. So total 42 questions. Assessment, how do they assess? Listening part A, double marked by trained OET assessors. You know, all these are called OET, IELTS, TOEFL, the PT, all these are known as double benchmarked exams. Why we call it double benchmarked? Two independent assessors, examiners, will be assessing your paper in the first run itself. They may not have any connection between each other. They may not know who is going to value the paper again. In the sense, they will value it twice. And part B and part C, computer scanned and automatically scored. That's why we say remarking is not that easy. To get a better score in reading or listening is not easy because in listening part B and part C, computers scanned and automatically scored. It's not the human beings or assessors marking it. Part A, you must write your answers in the space provided in the question booklet. Part B and part C, share the uh, lozenge, uh, respect the particular circle or lozenge there next to the appropriate answer. Uh, what is the part A nature of listening? To extract two audios, as I said, uh, it is a consultation. Normally, it's a consultation party. Uh, 12 plus uh, 12, 24 questions, and time is 15 minutes maximum. Complete the notes using the same words you hear on the recording. Complete the notes using the same word or short phrase that you hear in the recording. Do not repeat the words from the notes. If you repeat the words, for example, particular test is given. In the text, you have test, but then again, if you write blood test, there is a doubling you'll be penalized. Do not repeat words from the notes. What is given in the question booklet, never repeat them. If percentage is given or percent is given there, again, don't write in your answer percent. Do not add information that is not in the recording. Don't add anything from your pocket. Do not contradict yourself or make your meaning unclear. Okay, for example, some spelling mistakes, minor spelling mistakes are tolerated, but if the meaning is not clear, you'll be penalized. You'll not be penalized for misspelling provided the meaning is clear. If the meaning is unclear, you'll be penalized. Whereas in reading, you cannot make any spelling mistakes. You'll be penalized here. Minor spelling mistakes are not tolerated. Okay, listening skills. So don't try to make spelling mistakes. Always try for not to make your spelling mistakes so that you have more chances to score. So listening skills, skills assessed, ability to identify specific information, detail, gist in summary, main idea, opinion, or the speaker's purpose. What does he, what is the purpose? What, what, why does he speak this? Okay. These are the skills that we'll be explaining in detail later. Listening B, uh, six dialogues or monologues, six questions, three option MCQs. Okay. That is nothing special. Uh, method is QAT as already explained. 10 minutes. I suggest always 10 minutes. Even if you can take 12 minutes, you know, there is no specification about B and C. You have a time 45 minutes for both the parts together. You can adjust accordingly. Listening C, two extracts or audios, six into two, 12 questions. That means from each extract, there are audio, there'll be six questions and three option, multiple choice questions. Method is question, answer, text, because you have only three options. And 35 minutes is the maximum time. 